we just want to keep him there. He doesn't, he should not see the light of day. The family of a teenager brutally murdered almost 25 years ago is asking the parole board to keep her killer behind bars. Richard Anderson Jr. has spent 24 years and two months in prison for the murders of Charity Agee and Wendy Clay. In 2012, the parole board gave Anderson the 10-year maximum for his next opportunity for a hearing. And next month, that hearing will take place, but Clay's family and prosecutor Dennis Watkins have asked that he remain behind bars. Here's Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley. I think about her every day. Every single day. Wendy Clay's family remembers her as a crazy, fun teenager who was full of life. And she had such a spirit. She just had a zest for life. But in April of 1997, her life was ripped from them, a pain that is not only felt 25 years later, but amplified as Clay's killer, Richard Anderson Jr., has another chance at parole. Oh, he should never, ever, ever walk this earth. If I had my choice, he wouldn't be alive. Anderson pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 15 years to life in connection to the 1997 murders of 18-year-old Charity A.G. and 16-year-old Clay. Both their bodies were found in trash bags. A.G. discovered in January on the side of the road in McDonald. Clay was found in April in the backyard of Anderson's family home in Liberty. When you have somebody that's killing more than one, uh, you got three months apart, it's very concerning. Uh, because we may have a serial killer. Trumbull County Prosecutor Dennis Walken says he too believes Anderson shouldn't be released, calling him a danger to society. Walken says Anderson's bad behavior has continued since the last time he was up for parole. Virtually every year since 2012, being assaultive, stealing, taking drugs, involved in sex, sex offenses in prison. In 2012, the parole board gave Anderson the 10-year maximum for his next parole hearing. Both Clay's family and Watkins are asking for the same this time around. And we will be here every time to beg and plead whatever we have to do so that he doesn't get out. And he should never be released. In Trumbull County, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News. The parole board does take hearing input from the public. We've placed a link on how to do so at WKBN.com.